Hello and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind with me, Golden Self, where night falls upon Vivek City. Why don't we check out the Puzzle Canal Level 1, shall we? Look at this, though. I'm letting the cinematic camera do its thing because it just looks amazing. Oh, look at the receding sun rays over there, just below the horizon. And there's the rising moon, I think. And we're done. But check it out, we got this moon here. In the world's closest ever geostationary well, universes, as I said earlier. Level 1, Puzzle Canal. And we're underwater. And we're on the water. Da -da -dum, da -dum -dum. All right, we're going to get the light. And I think it's time that we took water walking off and put light on. Nope, no. Uh, the wa is really important to remember. I'm going to probably do an enchantment with light on it as well at some point. But uh, for now, of course, one problem with. Uh, oh, I, I actually cast the wrong thing. One. Oh my god, I quick. Oh my god, what did I do? <gasps> Where am I? Oh no. Oh my god. I don't even remember how far back this is. This is when I did that test of the, the slow fall. Right after I got enchantments. And that means what have I done and what have I not done? Oh, I, I got blessed here. Uh, that's why I'm floating. And, uh... Um... I got blessed here. I didn't get blessed there yet. I guess that's the next significant thing. I didn't join the palace. I didn't join the thing, did I? I don't know if I joined. Let's go join again. All right, well, I'm going to go catch myself up and come back. No, nothing happened. It's all good. Everything's fine. All right, so I actually, I actually have a choice here between whether what to do with, because I, I haven't gained the level yet. And I think last time I got this last point from Illusion which feeds into personality, and I don't really just want one point in personality out of nowhere. Um, on the other hand, uh, I'm going to be stuck with it either way at some point when I increase illusion, but since everything so far has been probably mainly alteration, probably willpower based, I should do, uh, at least I think, I don't know what's gone into this level so far to be honest, but I highly doubt that it's been illusion. Um, it's probably been alteration because that's low. Uh, it's probably been mysticism, which goes into willpower. Alteration goes into willpower, so I should probably do something else with willpower, right? So what I should do, theoretically, is grind one of these up to finish, and it seems to me that the one that is closest is, uh, the one that is closest that feeds into willpower is destruction, maybe? Or... Or we could do something with intelligence. Or agility. Uh, but I do think I'll just level up destruction then. In that case, I'll equip fireballs. And I'll see how much, uh... I'll try to kill some rats. But, uh... We'll just leave that for now, because we won't, like, go reach that level off camera. But I'm gonna make sure that the next thing that levels up is destruction or alteration or something. But, uh, I'm not... I'm in the Puzzle Canal level 4 right now. I don't see anything. We're gonna have to just head up to Puzzle Canal level 1 now. I'm still levitating, by the way. I've been levitating for quite a while, with no sign of stopping, it seems. Which is fine with me. It's, it's quite useful, actually, for getting around. Um, it is stopping me from casting, uh, water walking, which would be increasing my alteration. I'm trapped down here. Where's my... where's the exit? Where's the way up? Or out, or whatever. Oh, that's right, I came in through here. Loose grate. Let's head up to level 3, then. Oh, no wait, this is level 1. Oh, no wonder it's so small. Let's try level 2. See if we can solve the puzzle of the puzzle canal. And let's equip our, um... There you are. See, this is another reason why Levitate is so cheap, though. Because you can just be like this. This is why that blessing is amazing. It probably lasts a few hours, but like... I don't know, real real hours, I think. Or in-game, no, in-game hours. I don't know, but either way... It's been proven fruitful. 
Uh, nothing here. That I can see. He's supposedly in the center of the puzzle canal, this Dremora. If I present him with the longsword. Okay. Maybe the trick is something to do with these grates. Ah, you see, this doesn't seem to be... Oh, it does take us out. Maybe you have to enter from the right one. Maybe if you go under here... Because we want to go in the center, right? Well, we do still have this level here, level 3, to explore. Uh, let's see here. I think it's the middlemost as well. Well, no, that wouldn't be true. Alright, let's head in. Hey! Head over and in. Oh, wait, no, level 2, sorry. Uh, we're gonna need our light back. Uh, apparently, I never... I didn't put it on the thing, still. So. Yeah, because that was in the previous save. Or, I didn't actually save, rather. Uh, something I should do, by the way, is save this game. More often. But especially... Right now. I was just caught up in the moment. I wasn't thinking of smart. Saving! And we're saved. Let's get some light. Uh, no, not what I meant. Oh, but wait, if I do light, it's gonna go into illusion. I don't have any lanterns with me, do I? Dang. Um, uh... Um, uh, I should just get it all out of the way. I should just get... I should just, like, be constantly shooting flames out of my hands. Or something. Or casting Swift Swim. Where's my alteration at? No, it has a ways to go. Alright, fireballs! We'll, we'll go ahead and grind out destruction. It needs to be stronger anyway. How's that doing it? How's that doing for it? Oh, it helps. 58 becomes 62, no time, no problem. Four at a time. But yeah, we gotta uh, figure out the solution to the puzzle canal here. I like puzzles, but this is a puzzle canal. It's very puzzling. Maybe, if I had to guess, you gotta go to the bottom of it. Like, underwater, level 5. Let's go to level 5 with the puzzle canal. Once my spell wears off. I don't want to cast a spell because it'll dispel the flying too, and that's that's just fun. You know what? Whoa. I'll see you guys down. Ah, there we go. Destruction increased to 40. Alright, I'm going to go level up. I'll see you guys at the level up screen. Alright, well, if we sleep, we probably will not levitate anymore. Let's just sleep one hour. See what happens. See if we still have levitate on. You've ascended to level six. Wow, look at the graphic on that one. That, that, is that stock? I wonder. Dumb. You sense yourself more aware, more open to new ideas. You've learned a lot about Morrowind. It's hard to believe how ignorant you were, but now you have so much more to learn. All right, well, we've got strength, intelligence, willpower, and speed. That's what I like to see. Um, three in intelligence. And, um, I still feel like we're going to need two in strength. is not a bad idea right now. Get us a little higher there. And, um, we'll go ahead and bring speed right up to, to an even 50. And that's, that's great. That worked out quite well. If we'd gotten personality, we'd have times one in two categories. Now we have times two in one, which is better. Excellent. Now, let's carry on. Are we still floating? Oh, we are. We are indeed, but I'm going to actually leave through here. If I can, I can't. All right. Never mind. Well, I guess we'll leave here. And we'll head over back to the Palace of Vivek. To figure out the dang puzzle canal. The puzzle canal, which vexes me, so... I have a feeling the entrance should, we should enter down here instead. Level 5. That's probably to take the trick right there. Already, I feel more at ease, more at home, more at peace. Oh, let me put the uh, map back on and the crosshairs.
I didn't give the book to the guy, by the way. I still haven't. I I, I forgot to finish that part, but I did get it. Like I didn't I didn't finish that apology quest, but I sort of started it, I guess. Um, let's get light. Yeah. What am I saying? I lost track of what I was doing for a second there. From the air, death from above. It's cheap, but it works. Oh, my cross air is off too. You can see how lousy a shot I am. Uh, it's not just being a casual scumbag though. It's also that like the aim is really inexact. Oh, I already killed it apparently. No? I'm just to have terrible aim? There we go. It's just that there's a chance based element to it anyway. So it's not as though the aim really, you know, like why make it even worse basically? I mean, in Skyrim, I think this is a cr I think in most games these days, there's a crosshair, frankly, like a little dot in Far Cry and Prim Primal, if I'm not mistaken. Um, alright, well, I'm here. I'm in the puzzle canal, level 5. But I'm not finding anything. Let's see it on the map. Just anywhere I haven't been. I mean, I kind of haven't been over, over up there. Ugh, oh, it's annoying that I have to close that every time. That's one advantage to keeping it hidden. But there's nothing to see here. And this will just take me back outside. Maybe there's another grade I'm not aware of, like a side one. And they did say it would be a puzzle. Well, they didn't say that, but they did call it a puzzle canal. I don't know. Is there a side door? No, generally speaking in Rebecca, there's always only one side. Ooh, look at shipwreck. Only one side to explore things on. Uh, having to levitate here is like crazy useful. Here's the top of the palace. Certainly not gonna be where the canal is. We've already seen where the canal is. It's right here. And I'm still suspicious of these little arches, but there's nothing to see under them. Hmm. It's a lovely palace, I must say, but it's puzzling. Level 3? We did do level 3, though, I remember. Maybe there's a certain order you're supposed to do them in. Maybe you have to do 1, 2, 3, and 4, or something. Let me read that uh, passage again. No, not the journal. Pilgrim's Path. Uh, puzzle canal. I had a battle with Marinus Dagon. This all happened. Um, the journey through the puzzle canal can be confusing. Dremor Akraz is found in the center of the puzzle canal and will accept the plans over Longsword spoken to with courtesy. It doesn't say where to enter or exit it from. And I haven't seen a trial with. And there's really no ladders or anything in it that I've seen. Hey, there's a rat. Should probably use the iron arrows on these guys, actually, but whatever. It's not a hard thing to get more arrows if we run out of arrows. I'm stuck, and it's dark. Uh, I already changed it, didn't I? Yes, I did. Now my illusion goes up. That's fine, it has to go up at some time. What else goes into personality that I have on here? Anything? Just that, huh? Uh, well, that's fine. I am supposed to be a thief, so... Ah, here it is! Puzzle Canal Center! Level 3 it was. There we go. Let's give this dude a longsword. Oh, let's save, too. Uh, hopefully he doesn't attack me. If I approach him humbly. I'm wearing the same armor as him, after all. Do, 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 do. Why am I so fast? Is it the levitate spell? I have speed buffed by my boots. Cool. Why can't I walk? It's the levitate spell. Of course. Whoa. Check it out. No, but, like, I want to go there, though. Alright, well... We've got to find the Dremora. Dremor across. 
I guess I should just leave the long sword here. Just in case. Breathe the waters of his glory and the way is made clear. Ah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, now the puzzle starts. We've got to go do water breathing down here, it seems. First of all... I figure that's got to be it, right? What, breathe the waters of his glory and the way will be made clear. Now let's try activating the shrine. Breathe the waters of his glory and his way will be made clear. Alright, activate. Breathe the waters of his glory. I'm breathing it. You think that did it? No. Hmm. I've been for the baptism. Breathe the waters of his glory and it'll be made clear. Arr! I did though. No wonder they give you a levitate thing that lasts forever out front because if you didn't have it, you'd be kind of stuck here. Um. Read the waters of his glory and the way will be made clear. Do I have to buy it? Maybe like this? Let's see now. No. The Vex Tears. No. I don't know what to do. It seems that the puzzle has puzzled me. If it's not cast a potion of water breathing in or around the water, and then going for a swim in it, I don't know what it is. It seems so obvious. Do we have an alternate passage or something? Oh wait, that was light. I need water breathing. I mean, these are all red herrings, of course, but it may as well check them out. And that's the entrance. I'm breathing it, bro. I'm really breathing this water. Look at this! Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Did I get like a speed boost in it somewhere as well, like for for water, something in water? Because I have a potion of Swift Swim, or not Swift Swim, I have a spell of Swift Swim somewhere in here, don't I? I thought I bought one, or right, maybe I don't. I'm confused. It's the levitate, I guess, because it's levitate like a hundred, so it's like the fastest possible levitate you can do, right? Well, I mean, it's the, it's a hundred levitate anyway. I think maybe you can you can customize it to be faster or higher. Maybe if I cast the water breathing and then swim and then fly through, no. Maybe if I cast it underwater and then fly through. Maybe if I leave the sword and then do it. Arg. All right, guys, I'm going to have to play with this and come back when I figured it out. All right, well, it's not uh, made obvious in any way that I can see. I read the Pilgrim's Path all over again, but the answer is this. You go in here, and you swim around a bit. You just keep swimming. You just keep swimming. You just keep swimming. Or levitate swimming, as the case may be. All the way. All the way. Until your breath runs out. Then you go to the surface. And then, when you get stuck on land, it didn't work. It said I had to drown. I don't know, let me come back to this. 
Alright, we're gonna try this again. It's apparently really specific. You have to let your health drop down to below 10. I had to look this up. Oh, my levitation expired. Finally. So, let's let it drop down below 10. It's down to... 19. 14. Let's just do this. Up. Uh, and we did it. Alright, now. Is the way been made clear? Has the way been made clear? It has. Oh, they even put a, a whole new bridge in here, so you don't even need to levitate up. Wow. Now that's godly for you. Now, can I... I dispelled, but I still seem to be quite slow. Oh, there, there we go. Alright, we did that already. Let's put this away. And head deeper into the puzzle canal of mystery. I think there he is already, the Dremora. That wasn't much of a puzzle. I mean, it was, but it wasn't much of a puzzle. It was more like a wonder what the hell it's talking about and then look it up online. But, uh, hey, big deal. Here he is. My man, Krasd. Are you here on a pilgrimage? I take it that silver longsword is for me. It is indeed. As you see, I am unarmed, but you are brave and gallant. Uh, will you give me the longsword so that I may stand a chance against your might? Yes, I accept this sword. Thank you, Golden Self. You have the grace of courtesy. You should read the inscription on the shrine to complete your pilgrimage. Yeah, I bet I'd be bored too if I was him. Did it say anything in my journal about how the fact that he sounds like he's bored? No. All he did was one sigh. The grace of courtesy. Thank you for your courtesy, Lord Vivek. I shall speak neither hurtful nor harsh word, but shall speak respectfully even of my enemies, for separate words may turn aside anger. And? He's got a whole bunch of silver long swords. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that's funny. All right. Well, that's the puzzle canal done and done. And oh, 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 oh. But what do we got up there? Clearly, another passageway or something. And we need some light up here. Nothing. Nothing at all. As Ned Flanders would say. Stupid, sexy Flanders. Alright. Down. And, uh... Let's head out of here. Let's head out to the outside. I'll see you there. I'm gonna go take a selfie with Krost. No, Krost, you gotta scoot in more, man. You gotta, you gotta scoot in, like this. Like this, you see? You gotta scoot in. It's just this isn't gonna cut it. Uh. Alright, fine. We'll take the picture with the demon from Oblivion, like this. Say cheese, Krost. Krost. As your name may be, Krost. And we're back outside the temple, where our light spell has just expired, it seems. We're actually levitating a little bit right now. Just a little, nope, anymore. All right, so what are we gonna do now? Well, I'm not sure. Let's see, we've done the pilgrimage stuff, I think, everything that we can in Vivek. Let's just make sure. Let's just go ahead and verify that. Um, we've done Fields of Kumu, we've done Shrine of Daring, we've done Shrine of Generosity, and we've done Shrine of Courtesy. And next would be the Shrine of Justice, which is actually in Gnisis. Uh, and Coal Cave is also near, uh, near Gnisis, so we'll have to do that another time. And the Ghost Fence is the Ghost Fence. We'll be going there, of course. Uh, we'll be going there at some point as well. Uh, looking at the world map, in fact, I can tell you, there's the Ghost Fence. So we can go there, Ghost Gates. So we can go there. At some point. Gnisis. I don't remember where it is. I guess it's this one. Yeah. Um, up there is cool. And I know I happen to know that Gnarmok is somewhere in here. But it's a small town. 
And up there is those ruins. We gotta check those out. So cool. Let's, uh, the next thing here in Vivek is what exactly? We could do, we could try and find a dumber with the dagger. Um, it was in Hlalu compound. So we can check that out. Um, but yeah, he didn't have anything to say about that in particular. I don't think, did he? No. So yeah, I'm gonna figure out what to do next and come back. Alright, so there's two things I need to do, I think, here in Vivek still. There's finishing the Vivek Informant's mission for Caius Casades. We should also swing by the Telvani area and see if there's any spells or anything we want to buy. Um, we should also see if there's any spells or anything we want to buy at the Mage's Guild. Um, let's see, there's, um... Um, and then there's this, which we have done, so we've got to go back to the Morag Tong and report that our success and get our next mission from them. So let's head off now. Let's get that, um, let's get that crazy levitation spell, uh, blessing again, because hey, why not? It's pretty useful. And it's only five gold. Oh, you can't get it again within 24 hours or something? Is that the deal? That kind of makes sense. Let's go ahead and do that. Da -da, da -da. I love the music in this game. Oh, I can't get it again. I guess it's a one-time thing. I guess. I'll have to try again sometime. Um, but yeah, let's head off to the arena and also the Telvani compound. Now, what's cool, what's interesting about the design of City of Vivek is that it actually reflects, like, okay, House uh, Hlalu and Ebonheart are on the western side. And on the eastern side is where... Well, all right, the foreign quarter is over here, never mind. Oh, no, on the eastern side is where the Telvani are. No, the front quarter is on the western side too, so yeah. So there's that's neat. Um, let's do that. It's kind of huge, but whatever. And like this. And let's see, we haven't been over here at all. We've been in there, of course. We haven't been over here at all. That must be the Telvani. Or something? Let's find out. Together. It has doors on the ground level. Oh, no, it's the St. Delon. Uh, I think that one of our guys for, for that mission is in St. Delon. Actually, let's check out the papers that he gave me. All right. The Thieves' Guild operative is in St. Olm's. Folks are easily offended there. Be careful what you say. A little coin, a little favor, and you'll get in touch with her. Cool. But this is actually St. Delon. And I don't believe that I have a person to meet here. Oh, there was somebody at the temple, though. Oh, shoot. I gotta go back there. There was somebody there. Actually, I think I'm gonna run out of time for this. I think I'm out of time for this episode. Next time, we'll finish up here in Vivek, I think, and continue with our next mission. Our next missions. Depending on what mission we get next for the uh, Morag Tong, if it's something easy and convenient, we might do that. Or maybe we'll go to the House Telvani, uh, finish up with, with what we owe them. But I'm Golden Self. Thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed and you think that I deserve a little bit of support, or the video was good, or whoever it is that you evaluate these things, please feel free to leave a comment, a like, or to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.